It happened this week, the final fade-out of a dazzling talent. Science fiction writer Ray Bradbury died Tuesday in Los Angeles. Born in a small town in Illinois, Bradbury started publishing short stories in the 1940s and hit the big time in 1950 with a compilation titled The Martian Chronicles. Three years later came the classic Fahrenheit 451, all about a future in which the government burns books because they encourage independent thought. Books are just so much rubbish. Francois Truffaut directed the 1966 film version, starring Julie Christie and Oscar Werner. Do you really believe that? Oh, yes. Books disturb people, they make them antisocial. Definitely not Ray Bradbury's attitude toward books, as he told us in a 1983 CBS News interview. I'm a moralist and I don't want to see books burned, so I write a book like Fahrenheit 451 to teach people to love libraries and books as much as I do. For cousins everywhere, our family theater. From big screen TVs to ATMs and more, Bradbury foresaw many of the devices that we use and take for granted today. And though he resisted putting his works onto e-books until recently, he had actually seemed both to predict and to approve them in that same 1983 interview. They're going to enable us to carry our libraries with us in our breast pocket. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Huh? It just doesn't look like a book, that's all. Ray Bradbury wrote books and stories and TV and movie screenplays almost without number, thanks to a thousand word a day writing habit. You don't have time to think, and that's a good life to have, isn't it? If you're uh, busy doing things that you love constantly. So, uh, no, I wouldn't turn the clock back because I've had a perfect life. I'd do everything just the same way. Ray Bradbury was 91 years old.